people. This is another episode of Mad Dog World Podcast. I'm joined here today by my bro, Mike Ski. What's happening? What's happening? Hey, we're going straight up. Um, we're going to start by getting to it, man. Um, it was a big boxing match. Um, <laughs> our man behind the scenes, Jonathan Green, his his partner. And, um, what's his name? What's, what's my guy name? Andrade. Um, Dudu. I mean, Boo Boo. Yeah, Boo Boo. Dimitri. He called him Boo Boo. That's his boy. Yeah. So he know about nickname. Yeah, Boo Boo. Demetrius Andrade. Man, he was undefeated. Was middleweight, super middleweight. What weight class? One sixty eight. Nigga, what weight class is that, nigga? Uh, light, light, middle. Nigga, this nigga don't. <laughs> 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 hey, know, anyway, it, yeah, one weight class, 168. I think that's super middleweight, if I ain't mistaken. Super middleweight. Yeah, so he fought um one of the most avo- um, avoided fighters in boxing today, um, Benavidez. Was it David Benavidez? Yeah, they, they, they both say the most avoided. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, look, look. I'm telling y'all, for two months, this man Green. 15 years. He boosted his boy up. Now, Demetrius Andre, um, Andrade was a good fighter. He was avoided. But um, he wasn't doing numbers. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't. He didn't have a big fan base. I don't know because he, he wasn't really active on social media. He wasn't, you know, doing a lot of talking or whatever. But everybody in the boxing world knew he was a good fighter. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he didn't have that following. So I guess that's why a lot of boxers were avoiding him from giving him a big fight. But Green think it's because they were scared he was going to handle. That could have been the case, too. It is what it is. But um, this was no doubt his biggest fight. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my man Green, he 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 talked it up like he was going to handle his business. Remind you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, how long was it since you know, Demetrius Andrade last fight? He ain't fought in how long? He fought in January. Um, so he did fight recently. Okay, okay. So I don't want to hear that ring rush bullshit. Um, now I, look, Green. Oh, he gonna do this, and this is what really bothered me. We used to have mad arguments around here about this boxing shit, right? Because he swear Demetri Andrade was that guy. Everybody else, Mike, you advocated for goddamn Benavidez heavy. You said Benavidez gonna stop him. You know what I'm saying? I give you a prop. I thought Demetri Andrade had a chance, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, because I knew how good he was. I had never seen David Benavidez fight. I just kept hearing his name, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't been following boxing how I should, you know what I'm saying? Which I do a better job. But I had been hearing his name, like, this dude, the real deal, Canelo ducking him. Don't nobody want to smoke with him, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, my man Green Swift, his guy was going <laughs> to do something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike, so what happened, man? What happened? Fight, man. Man, well, we all know it didn't go green way. Uh, he went boy, missing on us, didn't he? After, hey man, the, after listen, the dude man. lost, he went missing on us. Hey, man, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to keep the shit plain and simple and sweet, bro. Okay. The boy got beat to death. Damn. You hear me? Man, man was in there. It was like it was like we were watching Earl Spence and uh, Bud again, bro. He was just in there trying to survive. It was that bad? Man, bro, stopped him in the sixth round, bro. He got beat to sleep, bro. Wow. Beat the death, boo boo, doo doo, whoever his name is, man, he need to go ahead and retire. I mean, the boy just, I tried to tell him, bro. I tried to tell Green, man, look, man, your boy ain't. He ain't the guy. He, he ain't the guy, man. He ain't on that level. I'm saying, Benavidez. So, what, what, what? Playing what, with him. What was the difference? Was it age, skill, power? What was it? Combination of all three, what? I mean, bro, you can say the age. I mean, he was, what, 35, 34, 35, but. He wasn't ready, bro. He was not ready, bro, at all, bro. At, at, all. at all. At all. Game plan was trash. I mean, bro, he, he, he didn't have a chance, bro. What you got to say to that, Green? Hey, what can he say? What you got to say, Green? <laughs> <laughs> hey, my man Green tried to even tell me to put some money on. This man, called, this man called me before the fight, talked all that trash, and like I told him, bro, I done, went in, I done did my research. Yeah. I done went and looked at his fights. Yeah. He's not ready, man. Yeah. I told him that. I told if I'm lying, I'm flying. I told him, bro, he was gonna get stopped. Straight up. That man got stopped in the sixth round. But you hear me? They threw the towel in. No, no, no more. He didn't come off the bench, huh? huh? He didn't on, even get off the stool. Stop playing, man. Get him up out of here, man. Green, was you was you was you shot? Absolutely. Absolutely. So where your boy Andrade go from here? Um, talk to the green. Don't be scared to talk now. You was doing a lot of talking. Um, okay. Um, 
Okay, he, uh, you know, like, we, we've been waiting 15 years Oh man. for this pay-per-view event. We finally got it. Um, yeah, he did suffer a loss. You know, his first loss of his career jumped up two weight classes. In a bad way. Um, started at... Oh, he went up two to fight this dude? Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know, started at 154, then Canelo ran. Then he had to jump oh, up to 160. Canelo ran again. <laughs> and then 180, uh, Canelo... I mean, 168, Canelo ran, and then Higo Benavidez, and he chose to fight the Mexican monster, and... The Mexican monster got the best of them, you know, and, and that's all I got to say about that, man. What you got to say about Benavidez? <coughs> is he the real deal? Absolutely. He he is a beast at 168. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't see Canelo beating him. He did. He did. Um, he, he took care of my dog, and it is what it is. But, um, hey. Hey, that's all I got to say. It is what it is, bro. I ain't going. I'm going to let y'all do y'all thing. Was I right? <laughs> I'm trying to was know right? that was a great fighter, dog. He's a great fighter. <laughs> hey, was I, was I, right? I, wouldn't, I wouldn't step away now. Like, I wouldn't step away because now, you know, a lot of people might think he's sweet and they might want to, you know what I'm saying, get in the ring with him now. So I wouldn't step away just yet. You feel me? I just don't see nobody else he could fight unless he, I mean, he could fight Caleb Quinn or uh, and he, one of the Charlo brothers. He probably beat them up. Yeah, the Charlo brothers don't. Neither one of them look as good as they used to a few years ago. Neither one of them. I'm not. Yeah, they passed like few fights. They, I mean, they done kind of calmed down now. When they used to do all that talking and all that other shit, I wasn't, I wasn't really fans. But they done kind of, you know what I'm saying? They done kind of toned it down a little bit now. But they don't look as pre as impressive as they did a few years ago. Neither one like of them. them at all. You feel me? So look, can Benny be there on um, beat Canelo? Absolutely. No, he won't be. Yeah, he won't beat Canelo. No. No. People gotta understand, bro. We've never even seen Canelo hurt. We've never yeah. seen Canelo hurt. He Canelo, he's he got, never. He got beat by Bebo. When he I say hurt, when I say hurt, no, bro. Bebo, no. Bebo did not beat him like that, bro. Yes, he did. He did not punch. No, I watched that fight. He did no. not punch him. He beat, but he did not. When I say hurt, you've never seen you've never seen Canelo legs wobble ever. Nah, you've never seen him stun, and, and that's remarkable considering how many weight classes he don't fluctuate between. You feel me? Right. So. I don't know. You got your hands full when you fuck with Canelo, for real, for real. Cause he gonna come to fight. You know what I'm saying? He 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 well rounded. And when you got somebody with a chin like that, boy, it's tough. It's tough to beat them, for real. Yeah, I think it'll be good the first couple of rounds. And then after the, once Canelo figure him out, he gonna wear him down. He gonna wear him down. He gonna wear him down. Yeah. So Benny Vidas gonna need that'd be a big fight though. I mean, I think they trying to get that one on Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. That'd be a big fight, bro. It would. And they both Mexican, right? Yes, sir. Oh man, that'd be that'd Cinco be de Mayo. Good. You know, I beat the holiday year for them. Yep. Oh man! Wow. So I would love to see that and hear what Green have to say on that. So who 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 you're on top three pound for pound boxes right now? Oh man. Mm. Bud. Okay. I like top that. Three. I like that. Got to go. I hope Bud, Bud don't turn into a diva on me now, dog. I've been a huge Bud. I've been on Bud for years, dog. Hope he don't turn into a diva now. Nah, he he. he I That's my I guy. I like Bud. I don't think so. I like Bud. Bud Tank. Man, who can I give okay. this one to, man? Okay. I guess I have to go with Canelo. I can I can agree with that. I can, go with I can agree with that. I was gonna go um, Bud. What's the guy Tyson Fury supposed to fight right now? Oh, oh, I, I forgot his name. What's his name? About, though. I kind of, I kind of can throw him at number two in there right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Probably throw him at two and three. Yeah, you probably can go Tank. Cause I kind of like Tank a little more than um, I like Shakir, but I didn't like his last fight. Yeah, I I, I like I like Tank. Bad. Tank, yeah, Tank probably a little better than um, Shakir. And what's the other boy name? Um, Haney? Yeah, Haney. He probably looked better than them three right now. I think if there was a fight right I think now, they I all three died. I, don't th I think them two dies and tank low key. I don't think they want to see tank. You know no, what I'm saying? Don't. Yeah, because tank. Not right now. Not after that last performance. Nah, tank stopping shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. And we, like we said, 
we still ain't seen Tank hurt. And when you fight somebody like Tank, you got to be able to box him right. 10 rounds without getting put on your ass and stop. That's a long time. You feel me? For real. That's a long time. Niggas don't understand that. We still ain't seen Tank leg shake. We ain't seen him wobbly yet. You feel me? Nope. So niggas know that's a problem, bro. When you get in there with a nigga that you hitting him with everything you got, yeah, and yeah. they still coming forward, and all it takes that's is a problem. Hit. Yeah, that's it. That's and you already see how he hitting, he knocking shit out. Yeah, going to the camp. For real, for real, he knocking shit out, bro. So niggas got niggas got to be careful with them kind of fighters, though, boy. But before we see that, before that, though, I want to see, I got to see Haney and Secure, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see that. You got to see that first. I go with Shakir. I go with Shakir. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I go with Shakir. That's who I take. But after that last performance by uh, Shakir. And I wasn't surprised. I I didn't like, I thought Haney lost to Lomachico. He was robbed. Lomachico was robbed that fight. I'm going to say this. He He was scoring points. See, people don't, people people forget boxing, you want to score points. You know what I'm saying? You want to put on a good show for the judges. And And that's what he Win as many rounds. And that's what he did. Yeah. I mean, he probably looked like he got beat to y'all, but he was scoring points. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of them uh punches old boy was throwing really went he wasn't it wasn't no power behind it because mm-hmm. he where he was throwing them mm-hmm. if you if you watch the fight again. Mm-hmm. So it really wasn't doing no damage to him. He was off balance when he was throwing them, when he was connected, there wasn't no power behind it. He really wasn't Shit, doing But no Haney wasn't really doing much either. But he was scoring your body punches, he was scoring points. Yeah. That's all that's all that's all you gotta do is score points. The win. They could at least get a draw though. They didn't have to rob Lomachico like that. You feel me? Cause you know Loma Chico was the most one of the most feared fighters for years, my boy. You feel me? Yep. For years, and he, hey, that was a good performance by Loma Chico, though. For real, yeah, it was. You know what I'm saying? Don't take nothing away from him. Yeah. So we'll see. But look, oh man, crazy weekend in football, man. Crazy weekend, my boy. Oh hell yeah. Crazy weekend. Let's go on. Um, what you thought about that Pac-12 championship game? Oh man, I, um, Washington, Oregon. I really thought Oregon was gonna pull it off. Um, Likewise, I, I wish they would have. Uh, but man, Washington stepped up big, man. When they needed, to, when they needed that guy to step up, man, they stepped up big, and man, they 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 got the job done, man. Well deserved, man. Shots out to them. They did a good job. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When I seen the spread came out and they had Oregon ten point favorites, I was like, damn, they must know Oregon gonna you know kind of. Handle Washington the second go around. Washington showed up to play. Washington showed up. They was physical, and they ran the ball on Oregon. If you notice, they they established the run early and often. That was the difference in the game, bro. Yep. And then when they went down, they, they didn't they didn't flinch. They responded. They got the stops. Hey, I'm gonna be real with you. Um, Oregon's a very good team. Washington just as good, bro. It was no fluke. You beat. You know how hard it is to beat a team twice, bro? Very hard. And they beat them by what? Field goal twice. Yep. A field goal twice, bro. That, I ain't gonna lie. Those are two of the um two of the best games I watched this year. Both times they played. For real. But um, shout out Oregon. They definitely trending in the right direction, bro. They gonna be a problem, dog. They're gonna be a problem. I wanna see who they um who they draw in this bowl game. They gonna I'm telling you here, listen, I'm standing behind this. I'm going out on them. I'm standing behind this. I'm curious to see who Oregon pulled in the bowl game. Um, they better they better match them up with somebody in that top ten. If you put them against anybody outside of that top ten, they gonna smash them. They pissed off they didn't get in the playoffs. I'm telling you, they gonna smash them. Twenty plus points. Right. I know. I know what kind of coach Dan Landon is. I know the talent they got. They gonna smash them with or without Bo Nix. I'm telling you. I was just gonna say that. Yeah. With what or without if, Bo, Nicks. Bo Nicks don't play. But. It's still gonna smash you because you gotta yeah. think. Um, in bowl season, you get about two to three weeks of practice. So whoever the quarterback is, you get a lot of reps. You know what I'm saying? You get a lot of reps. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't be, no, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. You feel me? But um, okay, let's go to um Alabama, Georgia. You thought about it? Oh, Shop? Man, you I surprised? Was, I was surprised, bro. What? I, Why? Hey, listen, man. I thought. I thought Georgia was gonna pull it off, man. I ain't gonna cap, but that offensive line, man, that offensive line by Alabama, man, the boys was just too little. They showed up. They yeah. They, they showed Georgia's up. The line was just, they were just too little, man. They, they were moving the boys. Well, they they defensive move. line. They defensive line did look a little suspect this game. Didn't I'm talking about, bro. They moved them to the left, opened the gap, but the gap was big, bro. You hear me? And they secondary looked suspect. Yes. You feel me? So I see what Alabama did. I was I was not shocked because you got Nick Saban, which is arguably the best. On one of the best coaches in college football history, 
and he going against his um his understudy, and his understudy done had his number the past few times. Mm-hmm. But um, we knew Georgia hadn't really played anybody like we talked all year. Out of everybody in the top eight, Georgia had the softest schedule. That shit was weak. It was weak, and we knew this was gonna be their toughest test. We knew talent wouldn't be a problem. But what I didn't like what they did, they were putting two spies on, on, on Mill Row to keep them from running. So now, if you're putting two spies on them, it's almost 90% chance that you got man coverage. Correct. And what's the name? Alabama receiver was separating the man coverage. Um, Dan, what's the other receiver that played, started out of Georgia, he transferred to Alabama now? Um, what's the kid name, dog? Fuck, man. Um, help me. Hold on, hold on. Name. I'm about to tell you his name right now. I mean, he's been making plays for him all year. Hold on. Burton? There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. Burton. Burton doing his thing. But Isaiah Bond, people don't realize, at Miami, we recruit Isaiah Bond. I think we came down to his last three. He signed with Alabama. Isaiah Bond was like top five fastest kid in high school. Mm-hmm. With that kind of speed, you can't play one-on-one with him all day. He, he gonna get separation. You feel right. me? And look, one drive, he killed, he, he killed out Georgia's whole self. Yeah, he caught the ball like five times on one drive, my nigga. One time, you know what I'm saying? You playing, man, what that tell you? Five times. I think it was five <laughs> times, bro. You feel me? That last um, score that Alabama need to separate? Yeah. The goal, and they went up 10. He caught, he caught every pass they drive. You feel me? So I think Georgia, um, they relied a little bit too much on man coverage. And um, Alabama exploited it. You know what I'm saying? They exploited the defense. They, 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 yeah, they they exploited it, bro. But that was a hell of a matchup. That was a hell of a game, bro. You feel me? And Georgia didn't flinch. Um, they went right back down the field and scored. Then after that, I kind of got caught up doing something else. So I didn't see the last, like, five minutes they of the defense, game. They defense just couldn't, couldn't stop. They couldn't stop Alabama. Couldn't stop, really. uh, at all. Alabama line, ran the ball, got the yards they needed when they want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I thought Alabama called a great game on offense and defense, bro. Yeah, boy, Milroy look look good. He look hella good. Listen, I gotta give him a shout out. In my opinion, from what I've seen, and I'm pretty sure there's other players out there that y'all can bring up. Um, uh, and I go back and look at them, and you know, like I might change my opinion or whatever. But Jalen Milrow was the most improved player in college football this year, in mm-hmm. my opinion. S- since week two, they almost benched him. They did bench him at the beginning of the year. They did. They gave another quarterback rep to see if he come in. And ever since he got put back in, that bitch ain't look back. Ain't look back. Slaughtering shit. You hear oh. me? And now the, the question's been answered. The man is a QB. The man, is a the QB. man can throw the ball. You feel me? The man can throw the ball. Elite, elite athlete. Yeah. Elite athlete. And I know he's coming back another. They're going to be a problem next that, year. That, that man used to only can look one way. Now that bitch. Going just, through his reads. You feel me? Reads, boy. And I can't believe. I mean, Kirby Smart, bro. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that he tried to play him like that. You know what I'm saying? You should have blitzed him a little more, gave him a zone. Make him go through a di- – give him different looks. Make him go through different reads. You putting a spy on him, two, they had two spies sometimes. So he know it's just man coverage. Right. So guess what? I'm going to find my fast receiver. It, it, it's too easy. Somebody going to be open. Somebody going to be open. There's no way – your DBs are not good enough to man everything up on our receivers. Right. And they exploited it, bro. They exploited it. Damn so did. They exploited it, bro. Good season by Georgia. I'm glad, um, low-key, I'm glad Georgia lost because I did not want to see them make history at all. You know what I'm saying? I did not want to see them three-peat. Nope, I'm glad that happened. So That offensive line made a difference in that ball yeah. game, man. Oh, yeah. They, they, it, was some, it was some bad play calling on offense that I seen from Georgia. Oh, yeah. When the game yeah. was close, bro. Like, it was one time. They got it was like third and three. That miss hand off and the fumble and shit. That, right that there hurt, in the red, right now. That on, hurt him. It was a third and three. They in the shotgun. They run the toss out the shotgun. I'm like, bro, just man, man on man, go dive, go inside zone. What you doing the toss for? And the D, the DB ran the alley, blew that shit up. They lost. That turned the game right there because they was already winning. And if they they had a chance to go up by two scores. Right after that, Alabama took over the game. Never looked back. After that third and three, they got that stop. Alabama took over the game. Never looked back after that. It was a wrap. Yeah, they played calling. Like, I'm play like, bro, why the fuck would you call that? That was dumb as fuck, bro. But, you know, it is what it is. That ragged um, ass tough play. It kept running that shit. Yeah. They kept stopping that shit. I don't know why yeah. they kept running it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Texas game. We thought about the Big 12 championship. Oh, man. We went in there and did what we had to do. Okay. I mean, went in there and put that feet on their neck. 
Okay. And got out of there with the victory, you know. Blew them out. Y'all need, and I'm going to be real with it. I, need, need Sark- I knew they were going to beat the shit out of Oklahoma State because Oklahoma State don't have enough offense to compete right. with them. And then Texas um, wasn't a lot to get in the playoffs, so they needed to do anything they could to try to sway the committee. Right. So they went out, put ass whooping on them boys. You feel me? Put ass whooping on them. So shout out to Texas, dog. They handled their business. Um, so it's safe to say, is it safe to say? We don't know now. We're, we're gonna get to that later. We're gonna get to that later. I'm about to say, right. is it safe to say it takes us a lot to get into the playoffs, but we're gonna come back to that. All right. All right, now let's go to the last. Um, no, we got two more. Michigan. Ah, we thought about that game. I expected that. Expected that. Yeah, I expected that. Most definitely. Are, are you sold on are you sold on Michigan? No. I'm not either. No, not at all. Why is that? I mean, they be uh Ohio State team with uh an unexperienced quarterback. Is don't don't it look like this Michigan team, the same Michigan team that begin in the playoffs, like they going like you you feel me? Right. I don't know. Now this could be. Um uh, they possibly could have held held back a little bit on offense because they they kind of knew that they were probably gonna beat Iowa, so they possibly could have held back. They they already knew if we win, we gonna get in the playoffs. So you know they probably held back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Did, did it feel like that, or does it just feel like it's still kind of like the same Michigan team that's gonna stink it up low key? That's it. Feel like that's what same. it is. That's, that's, that's what that's I kind of feel too, that's bro. That's exactly what it is. That's what I kind of feel like too, bro. For real, for real. Um, hey, shout out to Iowa, man. Consistently every year, the one of the worst, ugliest offenses <laughs> in the country, but they find a way to win 10 games. Good defense. Hella good in the trenches. When I say hell, I mean great offensive line, great defensive line. Um, every year they find a way to damn near get 10 wins, though, bro. So do. With no offense. No offense. Man, I gotta, bro, I, I gotta see how many points they done average for the year. They gotta be averaging under like 17 points. How the fuck in modern day college football you averaging probably under 20 points a game and you win 10 games? Mm. That's crazy. That's unheard of. You feel me? Right. That's unheard of. But shout out our successful season on by their standards. You know what I'm saying? For real. <laughs> For real. <laughs> hey, they still, I think they got the longest um tenured coach in college football still, Kirk Ferentz. You know what I'm saying? He making millions there. They love him. You know what I'm saying? All he gotta do is win eight every year, he's gonna keep his job. Hey, so every year he gonna keep his job. Pay, hey, and he paid too. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Paid, boy. But um, I feel like they got potential to do both, but they gotta change their offense. They gotta change. They, they too predictable. They really run an old school pro style offense, bro. It's really, for real, for real. But um, Florida State, boy. You, I know you got a lot to say about this one, boy. What you think about them boys? Man. They pulled it off, I can say that. But, man, them boys don't look good at all, man. The defense, hella fire defense. Yeah. I take nothing from them. With Jordan and Travis, I actually just see them making a run. Making a run? I don't, with Travis, Travis, I don't, I don't see them bro, making a run. Travis, Jordan, I mean, yeah, with Jordan and Travis, bro, I really see that. When I think they're competitive. They don't, but I don't think they're going to make no run. They don't, with, they, don't, they, don't look, they don't look good. They, they don't look like Florida State, bro, when they had him, bro, when he was healthy. I agree. Bro. For real, agree. for real. I agree. I mean, like this third, this this third string they got, bro. He is no Cordell Jones, bro. Yeah. And people try to say, oh, Ohio State did it with their third. No, bro. He's not no Cordell Jones, bro. But this is the thing, though. You know they're gonna get Tate Rotomaker, they backup back. Now, now he only missed the, this game because of concussion. Yeah, he still ain't. He's so you gonna get like two or three weeks to get him back. You know what I'm saying, bro? He's they still win. They no. Not, okay. not, not, not for the playoffs, bro. Not for the playoffs. I mean, but I, hey, they is undefeated, thirteen and zero. I mean, what do you do with that's this? not this where we get this this where it gets tricky at, right? Now before What's you your, before they, you they your top four before team, you right? say something, bro, okay, let me ask ahead. you this: Okay, here. go ahead. Looking at the Florida State team right now, mm-hmm. is they better than now? Keep it one hundred. Mm-hmm. Is they better than Alabama? Is they better than Texas right now? Keep Absolutely it one thousand. Absolutely not. But look. I can't punish a team for not having their quarterback. Okay. They won. Okay. So you have to put Florida State in, in my opinion. See, this is what I, this is what I don't know the committee. What See, the fuck are they looking at? Are they, y'all looking at strength of schedule? Are you looking at wins and losses? Are you looking at did you win your conference championship? Are you looking at um mutual opponents? How many wins against the top 25? 
What the fuck are the most um, important factors you're looking at when picking the top four teams? Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. But I just can't see how you can punish a Florida State team for winning. I get what you're saying. You feel bro. what I'm saying? Oh, bro, they couldn't even put up 20 points. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the kid, they had a short week to get them ready, though. Short week, you got to think Louisville ain't no scrub now. People don't realize Louisville had one of the top 15 defenses in the country. Top 15. A lot, a lot, a lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people just sleeping on Louisville. You feel me? Right. Shout out to Brian Brown, too, what he did with um, the Louisville Cardinals this year. Went back to his alma mater, turned him around. Great success. Um, the coach they had there before, Scott Satterfield, I think he's horrible. He's not that good. Um, they basically, um, he left them out the, he left them. Why? I don't know. Um, he went to Cincinnati, and he proved that he's a below average ass coach. Um, they had a lot of talent at Cincinnati, and they look horrible all year long. Scott Satterfield, not a fan. Um, he need to go be a coordinator somewhere. He's not a head coach. Get rid of him, Cincinnati. Because Cincinnati fell off one year with him at the helm with all that talent. Mm -hmm. They go from winning 10, 11 games every year on the um, Luke Fickle to now y'all getting Scott Satterfield. You know what I'm saying? Right. It, it went in a lateral move. We actually went down. You went from the ACC to, um, I forgot what the fuck Cincinnati in. I don't know if they Big 12 or they um, Big E still, whatever the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, and I'm like, he's horrible. Then Brian Brown come in. <laughs> Look, you know what I'm saying? What, 10 and 3, 11, whatever the fuck they went. Right. Shout out to them. Um, but let's get back on track, though. Um, Give me your top put four, your, man. Your, name your top four. Put your top four. Um, Somebody feeling is going to be hurt when they reveal that, this shit tomorrow. That's what I said. Somebody, Somebody fan base is going to be hot tomorrow, bro. So, this me. Michigan. Okay. Washington. Okay. Texas. Bama. That's, that's my That's top. yours. And that's I can't my, disagree with that. That's my top four now. If you going on who you think are the four best teams in the country, those are the four best teams, in my opinion. I th I don't think Florida State, definitely without Jordan Travis, can be any one of those teams. You feel me? I definitely, I don't think he could be in any one of those. You feel me? Their defense is good. Don't get me Let wrong. Let me tell you something. If they leave Florida State out tomorrow, bro, it's going to be madness, bro. I mean, but it's going to be madness. I'm telling you. Them boys gonna cut up. Well, you hear me? Bro, they got to be able to put points Because you disrespecting a team that were undefeated and won a conference championship. And That's okay. never happened. That's never been left out. TCU, they TCU have been uh never never went. But TCU do And they went, they went undefeated a couple seasons and never got and never But they wouldn't they wouldn't um But they won the playoff either. But I'm just saying No, they though. wasn't in a power five conference either at that time. I don't think they was power five at the time. What was Remember that? Remember the quarter? I think Boykins. They had a quarterback or whatever. And I don't think they went undefeated that year. They went undefeated, bro, like two years. And, and they, they never. They, yeah. I got to back. Look. Yeah. I remember, Tri I remember Tri on, on Boykins. Yeah, them boys. They yeah. Up, he went to the NFL. They even um, they end up moving him to receiver. I remember. Yeah, right, man. I'm just. Nah, bro. I think they lost a game, bro. Oh, nah. They nah, they, they, they went undefeated, bro. Just look really? it up. Yeah, look it up. Look it up. Check it out. Well, one day you get time. But man, that's just that's my fault. What's your yeah. fault? Oh. Watch. I think Washington's the best team in the country, in my opinion. Okay. I think Washington's the best team in the country. Um, two, got to go with Michigan. I'm not sold on Michigan, though, man. I was a fan. I like what they was doing this year. I just feel like they going to – that same Michigan team going to show up in the playoffs again. For real, for the offense, going to stink it up low-key. They're not going to be able to really pass the ball when they need to. And I'm not sold on Michigan. After what I seen against Iowa, yes, I'm not sold on I don't give a fuck how strong Iowa on defense was. I'm not sold on them. Mm -hmm. Um. Three, it's going to get tricky. Three. I'm an ACC guy, so I got to go Florida State. And four. What do you, what, what do you do? Four. I'm going to be real with you. This is where it get controversial. I'll put them in over to Texas. <laughs> I, I knew you were going to do that. Hey, I knew you would do some shit like that. But you know why I can't put them in there? Oh, Even though head Alabama done played a way tougher schedule than Texas. He beat them way the tougher. The only reason I can't put Bama in the over Texas is because y'all beat them in the head to head. Remind you, in it Alabama. was early in the season, and that was not the same Alabama team. You feel me? If they played today, I'm putting all my money on Bama. You feel me? Right. But like you said, you trying to punish Florida State for this and that. But you know what I'm saying? I can't put I can't punish Texas.
for beating a, 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 a weak Alabama team early in the year. You know what I'm saying? Texas won a conference championship. They look good doing it. Got to put them in. That's my four teams. You feel me? Now, um, out of all those teams, depending on how the season go, I'm telling you now, if Alabama get in this year, Alabama going to win it all. I'm letting you know now. If Alabama gets in the playoff, there's not a team in the top four that will beat them. So we can't beat them again? No, it won't happen. I guarantee you. It will not happen. There's no team in that top four that will beat Alabama. Think so? Nope. I'm going I'm to tell you right now, the dark horse, Washington. People sleep on Washington. They don't watch them enough. They physical on defense. They got a hell of a play caller on offense. They coach, design it up, and they quarterback playing better ball than just about anybody outside of Jaden Daniels. They quarterback playing the best ball outside of anybody in Jaden Daniels. You got big, fast, physical receivers on the outside. Running back, the offensive line is stout. People sleeping on Washington. I'm telling you now, I like Washington to win it all. If Alabama don't get in. Alabama get in, I like Bama to win it all. That's what I'm telling you right now. What, what you got? Texas. If we get I'm in, not sold on. If we win most definitely, man. We, yeah. Don't forget, bro. We got we got we had a Heisman candidate, you know what I'm saying? Quinn Earl. Yeah. But he got hurt. And if he would never got hurt without well, that performance last night, let's go. And after that performance last night, he probably would have took the Heisman home, bro. Think so? I mean, had four touchdowns, over 430 something passing yards, bro. He had over 300 in the first half. I'm gonna be real. The Heisman sold up. Yeah, it it's is. It's Jaden Daniels. Well, what I seen with Jaden Daniels did this year. In the SEC, when you knew he was, man. Yeah, it's out of him. It's out of him and Bo Nix. The only but quarterback I, to rush 1,000 yards this year. Yeah, yeah. The only quarterback. I can see him winning. And he's never done that in his career. He's always been like a dual threat. Right. He's always been a passer first. I didn't. I would have never guessed he would have ran 4,000. Never guessed. Man, Threw for, I think, 4,000. He had 50 touchdowns before the, um, before the last game, I believe. Yeah. Nobody. They said Joe Burrow. Had the best season any quarterback in college football history. What he did back in like 2019, 2020, right? Right. Jaden Daniels did that shit a game and a half less. I think he sold it when he played Alabama, all that shit he did at Alabama. Ball, he bought every game. Nobody shut him down. Nobody shut him down. You feel me? Nobody. Um, I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> if, I'm a, if I'm in the field, that's the first quarterback I'm going to get. That's Drake May. Overrated for North Carolina, overrated. Caleb Williams, overrated. You know what I'm saying? Shout out USC. Biggest disappointment. One of the biggest disappointments in college football this year. Caleb Williams. I mean, um, no, USC. Not Caleb Williams. USC. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not um USC. Horrible. They y'all paid Lincoln Riley all this money. And what results have y'all got really? You feel me? <laughs> Nothing. In the Pac 12. You feel me? And, a, and then next year, if y'all think he gonna win, he ain't. He gonna get smacked around by motherfucking Washington. And uh, hold on, which one of those schools? Washington, Oregon, still gonna be there next year, right? Right. Only okay. Team, yeah. So I, I know somebody from the Pac-12 left to go to the Big Ten. Colorado went to the Big Ten, right? I guess so. Ass whoopings. <laughs> Ass whoopings. So um, one of them. But yeah, man, Lincoln Riley, man, he's not the guy. You know what I'm saying? He's not the guy. He finally fired his defensive coordinator that he I had with him forever. He never had any defenses at Oklahoma. And at USC, his defense was twice as bad as they were at Oklahoma. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to win no national championship. No. He's not going. He's not that guy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all pay too much money for him. For real, for real. The smaller classification, you have one less round. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't, I don't know if you want to consider that or whatever. But they had a great season. They had a great season. Been, it's been some, you know, they were trying to get a little – past themselves trying to say this was the best individual season in Bay County history. No. No. <laughs> Don't go that far with it now. <laughs> Don't go that far with it. Did some great things though. Shout out to Bulls and the Bucks for real, for real. But um, you was talking a lot of mess too now. We can't get off you. You, you, you owe me some food. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah what yeah. I told you was going to happen when they met the Madison County Cowboys now. Yeah, you said, you said they was going what, what I told you, 20. Get exposed, yeah. I right, told you right, 20 right, right. E easily. And they got exposed, you feel me? D different level athletes. All yeah. bro all brothers over there, all speed. Nothing none, none like Bozeman seen all year, you feel me? Right, right, right. You know what hey, I'm saying? Look, for real. And it, it, it Go ahead. That's why I always say, Coach Memory, the only probably, I ain't going to say he's the only one, but Coach 
Coach Lemon and Ross probably the only ones I know that would go out and schedule them type that that type of talent. So you can already see so it. So they can they can see it. You know when the postseason so come around, you postseason come, they already be yeah hip to it. Exactly, I feel. And they they don't they didn't do they, that. They a lot, seen a that. lot of a lot of coaches don't do that, bro. No, nah. I think you should. It's get loose. Put at least two of those type of teams on your schedule, bro, so you can get hip to it. Because bro, it's gonna be plenty of times where you yeah you come across a team like in the postseason, but and, I, they, and they weren't ready. For but it. didn't I tell you all? I said they stood no chance against Madison County. Zero. I told you that zero. So now Madison County will play with Hawthorne yep. for the state championship. State championship. And then they gonna get beat it's, by. It's, it like, get beat by twenty. It seemed like they play every fucking year. I think that's like turned into like a little rivalry now. They almost expected to make it there every year. You feel me? So you say Hawthorne gonna beat Madison County? Yeah, by twenty. Okay, I'm going. I'm going against that. I'm picking Madison County for they, the upset. They, they, uh, they, everybody on their schedule, they gonna beat by double digits. I don't understand. I'm going Madison. I'm going Madison County for the upset. So we're gonna revisit this again. You yeah. feel me? All right. Tell you okay. Is, All right. You like, you like Hawthorne? Not nah, nigga, you already in the hole, nigga. What you want to bet now? No, double net. Come on. Man. Okay, bet there. Yeah. All right. All right. I call it. Yeah. I see. <laughs> All right. Hey, um, do you want to shout out your nephew, man? Oh yeah, shout out Randy Pippen, man. Freshman of the year. Uh, Randy, uh, Randy Pippen. Yeah, Randy Pippen. Pippen, man. You talking about some Randy Pippen? Randy Pippen. <laughs> Randy Pippen, man. Big twelve. Uh, big twelve. Freshman of the year. That's big. That's big. Uh, you said he made academic. Uh, um, academic yeah, too. Yes, sir. Yeah. Straight A's, man. I don't know what you call it in college, but yeah, he made that list. It's the academic, um, whatever conference they in. I think it was in the Big 12, so he made the Big 12 all academic team then. That's what it is. Shout out Randy Pittman. You feel me? Uh, he going to stay at UCF? He going to transfer? He going to hit the portal? No, nah, no, nah, he going to stay there, man. Too yeah. good, man. He don't need to go nowhere. That's good, then. Yeah, yeah, That's good. That's good. Ooh, yeah, That's good. That's good. Yeah, DCL. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. What happened? What is it? What that is? Who that? Is? Somebody at your door? Nah, nah, that my door. Oh, who that? Door name DCL. So my nigga called to keep on that. <laughs> <laughs> so DCF at your no- neighbor's door. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's sad, man. Oh shit! What? Some bad parents over there, man? Nah, I ain't gonna really call it that, but they just ain't. They just ain't. Uh, they ain't doing what they supposed to do. Right. right Damn. Right, right. Damn. Right. DCF uh, at your door before Christmas. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? Hey, look, it's something I want to see. I've been seeing some shit going viral, bro. Um, Talk to me. I don't understand this one, but I guess when you get into media and podcasting, it's certain shit that you, you know what I'm saying, you just you just accept. Right. I, I, Talk to I think Cam Newton made some enemies, man. I think he made some oh, enemies. Cam Newton was already a successful businessman, I assume. We knew his days in the NFL was over. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of, you got a lot of friends that still play, um, things of that nature. I don't, I'm a fan of Charleston White. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, sometimes I like the mess. Sometimes I think he go overboard. But that's what you get when you're dealing with this guy. You know what I'm saying? You know he going to do some controversial shit. You feel me? Um... I don't understand why Cam Newton, out of all the guests you could have brought on, you already got a following. Why would you bring, why would you bring Charleston White on your show and you know anything he got to say about anybody he don't like, especially if they're your friend? It's gonna, it's gonna go overboard. Right. It ain't gonna be in a respectful manner where we can address it. It's gonna be some disrespectful shit. So how you feel about that? You think that was a smart move for him to bring Charleston? Man, when I look at it, man, uh, Cam Newton, Cam Newton was smart, man. So when you look at it, I think he should have known that was a, that was a wrong move. But he probably thought about it afterward, and it was too late, man. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think that was I think that was a, that was that was a wrong move for him because I'm pretty sure he gonna lose a lot of. He lost some friendship. He lost some friendship off that. Respect on that right there because you know Charleston White, he ain't gonna hold back nothing. He gonna say what the fuck under his mind. Exactly. And I feel like some of the shit Charleston White doing is clout chasing. Right, right, he's just right. saying some shit like some shit just out of is 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 off the wall, you know what I'm saying? And I think he's so so. And I I don't I think <laughs> a lot of people don't realize you can be here and be here tomorrow. Correct. A lot of most of, and I don't care how much money you got, you can be being there. You can be here today, you can be here tomorrow. A lot of people don't understand humility and being humble. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I seen like Charleston White. The first thing he posts, 
after the camp meeting, nigga, no matter what I go, whatever I do, nigga, I get views, nigga. This is what I do and all this. And I'm just like, like my nigga, bring it down a little, you know what I'm saying? Like, God damn, bring it down a little bit because you could disappear too. You know what I'm saying? You could, because some of the shit you saying over is getting kind of old. You know what I'm saying? Right. For real, for real. And then Cam knew, knew this man was going to say some wild shit. First thing, I only seen like five minutes of it. I only seen like two reels. So I haven't had a chance to watch the whole interview. But the two reels I see, the first thing I see is, fuck Deion Sanders. And I know Cam Newton. I assume Cam Newton and Deion Sanders got to be social or friends or something. You know what I'm saying? Right. Fuck Deion Sanders. Fuck Deion Sanders' wife. Fuck, um, fuck Sexy Red. Oh, and I'm like, my nigga, like, bro, what is you doing? For, like, what the fuck Cam Newton and, like, them two shouldn't even be in the same space. Cam Newton and Charles White. Right. So I was shocked. So I was like, we live in the world where it seems like now you can't put nothing past nobody. Niggas will do anything to go viral damn near now. Motherfucking already have a little paper, be successful, and still won't fame and, and clout and shit. You feel me? I, I was shocked, bro. When I seen I was like, what? I don't know, bro. Speaking on the man family. Nah, what, you, what, you, yeah, what you think about that, Green? Because um, yeah, you actually watched the whole interview, didn't you? You think that was smart by Cam? I think Cam did do it for the likes. Thank he you. Had, he had. Yeah, because I don't think he did it he to was, do anything like he was positive ready. from it. I think he did it for the likes. He was ready to knock what's his name ass out. He was like, yo, bro, like, but you talking about the, the, the man, like, you talking about the man like that. And he kept saying, yo, fuck him, fuck him. And he was like, yo, man, you said that, and you said that shit right directly toward me. Oh, they, so they them two almost got into it? Nah, they ain't almost get into it, but I know what type of dude Cam Newton is. Yeah. And, and uh, that shit ain't that. You could tell that shit wasn't right. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So he, like, he, they, he didn't agree with it. They shouldn't even be in the same they, they, space. But he knew this. You knew the type of guy Charleston is. Okay. okay. You this shouldn't have been shocking, bro. You feel me? Right. So it's like, damn, Cam, you you chasing you chasing views and shit now too. Like what? You know what I'm saying? But but. His name was saying some real shit on there. The way how he described like the black kid with the single mom and stuff. He like always, that. he always do. Oh, uh, he he, he described. He always shit, do. Like, he always gonna give you some positive, and he gonna always come back with that bullshit too. Yeah, and, and see that's what I don't like because then he he talk about the rap with the bullshit. He hate rap. Yeah, he talk about that, but then he out here with the bullshit talking this dumb ass shit like the fuck the uh go like doing the extra hypocrite. Because he, and, and I think, he, like you say, he doing a million, he doing a million views now. Exactly. And that's why I can't it's, was brought up on Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They got a million, million views in less than 24 hours. Oh, oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. That's why I can't brought him on. But I don't think, I don't think, um, Dion is worried about that shit. Nah, but I think Dion gonna look. I think he gonna look at Cam Newton in a different kind of way now. Oh yeah, Cam gonna get a phone call. Yeah, he gonna get a phone call. Like, bro, why would you? Why would you bring this dude that's because you you speaking bad on me and my kids? You know what I'm saying? They could have edited that shit out too. It's out there now. Yeah, somebody, somebody got that shit. Yeah, it's out there now. Screen recording that bitch already around the world. You know, and then you know Dion already been turned into the laughing stock the past few weeks. So then you add more bulls. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't a good move by Cam at all. You know what I'm saying? Them two shouldn't even been in the same space. Bro. No, no. At all, bro. Cam, Cam should have known already what type of time. Uh, Charles Cam White asking those questions. You know what I'm saying? Charleston White didn't ask those. Yeah. You knew the response you was gonna get. Yeah, see, you feel yeah, me? So he already. If you want you know, to keep it, if you want to keep it positive, you should have asked them, bro. What you think about black kids? They upbringing or whatever the fuck else they talk about. But I'm just saying, I haven't seen the interview. I only seen those two reels. And those two reels, it was fuck the unsentenced, fuck his wife, fuck sexy red. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was not good. Well, by he Cam, did, well, he could have hollered at Tarzan White before the sh- uh, you know the show and be like, uh, they could have edited all that shit out. Uh, I'm just yeah. saying, I, I ain't they saying did. that they did. Yeah. I'm just saying like still like he nah, could have like they did. They they on, in the interview because he was like, yo, we gotta edit. He, he was like, nah, we gonna edit some of this shit out. And then Charleston White was like, nah, dog, we gotta let it. <laughs> so what I'm saying, if you got if you gonna if you gonna edit it out, I'm saying how the hell you heard it. If you heard if you if you heard all that, then it's, it shouldn't be too late to edit it. 
Nah, but you know it's film, and then you go through, do your editing, and then you drop it. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't live. But if I, but if I, if I heard this man saying F, Dion, F his wife, his kids, and all that. Yeah. Shit, I heard that before the editing, right? Yeah, you heard it before you edit and drop it. I mean, you know, you you, exactly. you so, hearing all so that. by that time, somebody done screen recorded that, bro. You got to think about it. People with these phones, bro. Yeah, but that's why you supposed to know who working for you. Yeah. It's supposed that's to why you're supposed to know who working for you, who Man, in the them, building. Them, them the main motherfuckers that leak shit. Yeah, exactly. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. You're right. That's what I'm saying. You feel me? Them, but them then, the main ones but that then leak I would shit. know who leaked it. You know what I'm saying? Because I can see, oh, he's sitting there. He want to record. Hey, bro, get the fuck up out of here. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real, for real. Like, straight up. But yeah. I don't know, bro. That was bad. Bro. Yeah, that, that, that. That was bad by Cam. I was like, damn, yeah, Cam, dude, nah, you chasing Cam, him. Cam's smart, like, bro. He know better. Exactly. Like, you yeah, chasing. He's very smart, dog. You chasing Clark, bro. Like, come on, bro. Not you, Cam. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for real, for real, bro. You and Charles and White, we ain't got no business even doing. But like I said, I, hey, you know what I'm saying? Teach his own, my nigga. You feel me? For real, for real. Yeah. Teach his own. Yeah, so you ain't got to worry about seeing him on Sundays no more. Oh, he'll never. I said, definitely not that interview. He'll uh, never play in the NFL again. Kaepernick get a job before him. <laughs> Fact. Yeah. <laughs> Fact, bro, that was bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bad move, so though. At least we know. At least we know he ain't on. Oh yeah, yeah. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, you know I like that. Saying? I do like that. So he got a little. He got freedom of speech, but because you gotta have yeah. freedom of speech to put that mic on. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. He did. He did. He he, he might have ruffled some people's feathers. Like oh yeah, most definitely, bro. I'm telling you, he that, got he gonna get a phone call from Dion, bro. If it if it if it wasn't edited, and I ain't no telling who else they talking about. Like I said, I only seen two reels, so I ain't no telling who else they done. You know what I'm saying? Right. They done dressed for real. But do 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 Charleston White? Do he do he go back to the community now and give back? Man, I don't I don't know. We don't never see that part. Never make the camera. He say he do. You know what I'm saying? But that part Man, that we don't dude, see. That don't make the camera. He say he he say every city like when he get booked for a show in that city. He'll go visit the juvenile jail, give features, go help, you know, do something with the homeless. I mean, folks, all that shit. That type of thing. He say he do all that. All that shit cool and all that. But if you going to go after that, go do some dumb shit. Dumb shit, dumb yeah. Shit, all that shit is irrelevant I feel to me, bro. Because to me, that shit don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? If he getting the bread and giving it back to the hood, then, you know what I'm saying? That's part, that's 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 his job. He, he an entertainer now. Yeah. You know so basically telling you. When you see me do the dumb shit, you need to um close your eyes and close your ears. You, need to be a, you know what I'm saying? But when I, when, I, when I speak that positive shit, you need to be locked in. You feel me? Yeah, I ain't knocking them though, bro. I, just, I know the kid, the same kids here like, in these juvenile correction facilities speaking to, they got to know this nigga. They got to see this shit on the internet. Yeah. Be like, man, come on, man. This is the nigga that was in here. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. you kind of like a role model, but you kind of a bad one too. Because if they looking up to you, which one are they going to act like? Exactly. Sound like a rapper to me. Exactly. It's, it's hypocritical. <laughs> it's hypocritical. Like, you know you what I'm saying? You don't know which type of nigga you want to be. <laughs> exactly, bro. Like I see exactly. At the end of the day, bro, like we would have come not, down to not, not some to people do subject. anything for this, bro. Yeah. Right. Some people do anything for this, bro. Yeah. For real, for real. He, he they kill, they kill their mama behind it. You hear me? He said he not, but he he kind of is doing. The, the actions thing. speak louder, bro. Yeah. The actions speak louder. You feel me? Right. Yes, sir. Got anything else we gotta talk about? Hey, quick um few things we're gonna address with y'all. Look, um, we're gonna touch on this on the next um show. But listen, I want y'all please. There's this um three episode documentary on Netflix called Bad Surgeon. I mean Bad Surgeon. Please go check it out. Man, let me tell you something. Disturbing. Disturbing. You understand? Like, listen, man, disturbing. And on all levels, man. Listen, ah, y'all go check this shit out, man. <laughs> Shocking, bro. I ain't never seen nothing like this. Y'all go check that out. We're gonna touch on that um, on the next episode. But also, me and my dog want to clown. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. So look, just a few seconds ago, bro hit me like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? You watch Tubi movies or whatever. Say I don't really watch the bootleg ones. You know what I'm saying? Blah blah blah. First thing he come back and say, oh. <laughs> You ain't seen, so you ain't seen Sloppy Seconds. Sloppy Seconds. Let me say, I bust out laughing because one night, I wake up in, in the middle of the night. As you know, when you watch it something on Tubi, it'll sometimes just go to the next movie, blah, blah, right. blah. I can't find a remote in the bed. So I'm just like, fuck it. I'm just going to, you know, leave whatever up there. So I'm in my phone, you know what I'm saying, doing some research or whatever. This is about 2, 3 in the morning. 
and I keep glancing back at this movie. <laughs> and this was the dumbest movie I've seen in my life. The filthiest movie I've seen in my life. So listen, <laughs> if y'all want to see how stupid this shit is, go to Tubi, watch the movie, Sloppy Seconds. This shit shouldn't even been made, my nigga. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what the fuck, like... I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna speak on two things real quick, my nigga. But you wanna touch on something? Go ahead, my nigga. You brought this shit up, man. For real, for real. Go ahead, dog. Hey, when my dog tied the bitch up to the bed. Oh man. Go ahead. My dog tied the bitch up to the bed, bro, and brought the dog in the room, boy. And let the dog get that ass. And let the dog get that ass. That you shit was hey. sick. And she enjoyed it, boy. That shit was sick. She bro. hey, 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 she was in that bitch making sound of it. Yeah. <laughs> hey. All you heard with the dog just tearing it <laughs> This nigga so broke, he made his bitch sleep with the two other niggas and made them pay for the clear debt. He in debt. He in debt with two other niggas. That bitch was in debt so bad. He said, "When I want y'all to fuck my girl." Man. Man, <laughs> and he watched, bro. And he, he, bro, he literally sat there and watched, bro. Like, bitch, catch a daddy <laughs> at the end. What was it? What was you fucking a friend or something? A best co-worker? friend. Yeah, fucking a best friend. Man, I said, look at this shit here, bro. I was like, man, what the fuck is this? I'm watching, bro. The sick, the dumbest movie I've ever seen in my life. Sloppy seconds, boy. So look, y'all go check that out. Tell me what y'all think, man. Sloppy seconds on Tubi, and then um, Bad Surgeon on Netflix, and um, and we gonna get a TikTok going here soon, man. Um, y'all tap in with us, but we got an Instagram. It's on um, it's on the screen. Y'all pull it up, follow us. Um, we appreciate y'all, and um, we gonna be back at it very soon. Tune in. Let's go. Let's get it.